Thank you all so much for tuning in to Town & Country. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I am your host, Alicia Lewis, and we are back in the kitchen today. That's right. We are with Quola's Soup Kitchen, all the way from Valdosta. The owner and chef, Erica Miller, is here to give us a taste of what they offer. So thank you so much for joining me. You already got it sizzling for us today. How are you? I am doing great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right. So what I love about your soup kitchen is that you're not an average soup kitchen. When you think of soup kitchen, you think <laughs> of like cold cut sandwiches. You're like, no, we, we can Jamaican, okay? <laughs> I love it. So what inspired you to start your soup kitchen? Um, uh, the soup kitchen had closed at Valdosta, so okay. we were one of the ones that stepped up. Okay. And at that time, I had just closed my restaurant, so I just stepped in and helped wow. open up the soup kitchen at Quola. I love that. Awesome. So let's get started. You wanted to kind of show us and give us a taste of what you offer there. So you got some, what, jerk chicken? Yeah, rice and peas and um, curry chicken. Okay. Um and we're gonna make some veggies. All right, you put me to work now. All <laughs> right, so what I gotta do? All right, so normally what I do, I take the pepper, okay. and I cut it in half, and I will not cut like the whole pepper. Way? Yes, just cut, no, here on the side, okay. yes. So we try to preserve, so we're gonna take that, mm -hmm. cut that in um, half there, in half, and then just chop it up. Okay. Yep. Oh, now this is a good <laughs> knife. I need this knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Erica, you are donation based, right? Yes, we're one hundred percent donation based. Okay, we're also one hundred percent volunteer based. So I volunteer as well. Wow, we do not get paid, um, and yes, we are so we thrive off of one hundred percent community donations. Now you make these, you know, gourmet meals <laughs> for a soup kitchen. In your, do I put it in here? Yes. Okay, and your donation based. So how are you able to kind of? Stay afloat. So, um, luckily, the community, they are donating. Oh, good. Um, and so far, we've been doing pretty steady, but like any other nonprofit, we definitely rely on donations. donations. Gotcha. And okay. we use the food bank. So, Second Harvest Food Bank, thank God for them. Mm -hmm. um, we're able to get very, very low prices when it comes to the um, food. Okay. So, majority of this came from Second Harvest. Believe wow. it or not, they have some amazing um, produce. Okay. Um, I cook with a lot of veggies. And, um, yes, that's how we're able to stay afloat. So they got, they get to get, I mean, healthy and hearty meals. Yes, I try um, to give them at least like a starch, a meat, and vegetables. Okay. Now, how, um, about how many people do you all service daily? It's between 100 to 275 a day. Wow. Every day, Monday through Friday, um, we're feeding them. So do you believe that it is a food shortage? Yes, there's definitely um, a food um, shortage. Okay. Um, and that's where we come in to feed them. All right. But we also believe in not just giving out a handout, but yeah. also a hands up. That's right. All right, and so something else that you told me that you do, it's called Beyond the Bowls. Yes, so Beyond the Bowls came from a servant and me identifying, oh my gosh, people are without jobs, home, yeah. and lack of education. So wow. we started Beyond the Bowls to give them that hands up. Wow. Um, so we have partnerships with other organizations or companies mm -hmm. that already have funding. That's yeah. another way we're able to um, help the community we have partnered with Wiregrass oh, for nice. the GED program, okay. Goodwill for the Career Center, and Legacy for to help us with uh, our homelessness mm -hmm. and 90 Works with our veteran support. Mm. So, so what made you say, "Hey, I wanna, I wanna do a soup kitchen"? But you know, make these type of meals and not just the regular. Yeah, I've been cooking <laughs> cold yeah. cut sandwiches. Yeah, I've been cooking for ten years. I've had my restaurant, Caribbean Delight, for ten years. Okay, it closed last year. Um, so when it was time for me to open, I'm like, I don't even know how to make soup. <laughs> you know, yeah. I like to make meals. Um, growing up, my grandmother cooked a soap and full meal three times a day. Wow. So just from my restaurant and my upbringing, mm -hmm. um, that's how I, you know, decided saying, you know what, we're not just doing soup. Um, yeah. And it's actually cheaper or affordable to cook a meal to stretch. Yeah. Now we do soup, but yeah. it's still from scratch. Gotcha. Am I cutting this cabbage right? We're making it's fine. cabbage Just right? throw it in the pot. Okay. Just throw it on in. All right. And so, um, so I, I've seen that you also mm -hmm. have made um, 
you have served over 10,000 families. Well, actually, more. we're at 18,000. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that yeah, is awesome. We're at 18,000. Like I said, we feed between 1,000 to 2,000 a week. That is awesome. And we started five months ago. So all of this have um, transpired within the last five months. Wow. Um, we had our county, county manager, Paige Duke. She called yes. back in December, and after she heard that we had an interest, and open up the soup kitchen. Gotcha. Okay, so tell our viewers where exactly you're located and how can we find out more information and also how can we donate? Okay, we're located at 115 okay. East Florida Avenue um, and you can donate actually by sending a check there mm -hmm. or we have a cash app. It is Cola, or dollar sign, Cola Soup Kitchen. Okay. Um, or you could just stop by our office and give like cash if that's what you have. Perfect. Well, definitely we're going to support you and your mission. I love what you're doing. Helping all those families yes. is definitely beneficial for our community. Yes. Okay, so okay. thank you so much for joining me. We're going to continue cooking um, <laughs> after the break. We kind of ran out of time, but we're going to take a quick break. But coming up.